Uh oh, this is bad. Bad. Like kilometers, kilometers away, there is a massive sandbox waiting for us. This doesn't look too good. We're Jazz and Crystal, and for the last three years, we've been living in a van with our dogs, Bella and Izzy. We're driving 3,000 miles from Canada to Baja, Mexico. This week, we head to Nevada with our pal Colin, where we take in all the bright lights of Las Vegas. Whoa. <laughs> Bask in the beautiful landscapes the state has to offer. This place is amazing. I can't get over it. Like, are we on Mars? And while everything was cruising along, suddenly things take a turn and we experience one of the scariest moments on the road yet. She's dying. Like, we gotta go. What are you saying? <laughs> anymore. We are about to drive some mountainous roads and it's always good to do a pre-trip inspection. Coolant is super important to check as it's what keeps your engine cooled when you're driving off the mountainous roads. Is that why it's called coolant? Uh, yeah. Are you ready? Ready. Normally we keep this out on the counter, but with three people in the van and two dogs, we've had to make it a home in the bench. It's really not that big, but this van really isn't that big either. We're living in a time where most people at any time can take a photo or capture special moments on a daily basis, upload them to their family and friends around the world. It's really cool how far technology has actually come. Our phones now shoot 4K. They're so light, compactable. You can bring them anywhere. The Jackery can be a photographer's best buddy. And that's because all of the charging ports here are gonna keep all of your devices from your drone to your GoPro to your camera batteries, microphones, any devices that help you produce the photo and video that you love to share charged. It's actually been keeping three creators devices charged. Speaking of creators, Colin? <laughs> Are you okay out there? <laughs> Keep going, Colin. We've been really enjoying getting a lot of feedback and messages from all of you who have used your Jackery and find it comes in handy for so many different purposes. Scroll down to the description and click the link. Head over to Jackery's website and find a model that's for you. Three thumbs up. <laughs> Driving into Nevada and into the desert, we did not expect to see a beautiful blue body of water, such as Lake Mead, but we did. It was calling our names. And it was apparently the coldest water Colin's ever been in, so it was a real experience. No, I don't want to, it's so oh, cold. Because no. it wasn't glacial, but it's still winter down here. <laughs> traveling with other Kratos because they know the importance of getting those detail shots and also the importance of running back to your camera, back and forth. So thank you, Colin. You're welcome. We are in the middle of absolutely nowhere. There's nothing out here and hardly anyone at all. It's like the odd car. This is otherworldly. Like, are we on Mars? <laughs> America honestly amazes me. I forget how diverse their landscapes are here. Every time I drive by, I'm like, whoa, this exists here? This is 
the perfect time to come here. I always imagine these places to be so much busier. Just a short 2.2 kilometer mile hike and you end up right here. Kilometer mile? I don't know what one it is. That's a new measurement. It's 2.2 of something, so. <laughs> After many years on the road and over the last few weeks, many kilometers driven, sometimes the views can be a little bit repetitive, but as soon as you hit Valley Fire, that red rock hits you in a hundred different shades and definitely lit my soul on fire. This place is extremely beautiful and these rocks were formed over 150 million years ago. We've never seen rock so red. So happy I escaped the uh, snowstorm and the minus 21. Can you see the elephant? This place is amazing. I can't get over it. Izzy, okay, we gotta go. Should we give her food or hydrogen peroxide? Like, she's dying. Like, we gotta go. What are you saying? She's literally just fell. Like, uh, she. Okay, let's go. Let's Come go. Come on, Izzy. Hang on, Izzy. Hang on, Izzy. We're gonna go here. Exactly what it was when, so they went like this. Like, do you tell them? They like, they go like this, they would go like this. Yeah, and she would like flinch. And then she'd be like, they're like, oh yeah, that's drugs. Yeah, so then they gave her a human drug test immediately and it came back and to THC marijuana. And lit up, mm -hmm. they said, like so fast. Yeah. So I think somewhere on the trail, like either, I'm, what I'm guessing is that someone was eating marijuana, it got pooped out, <laughs> and Izzy <laughs> ate it. So, and it might have, must have taken like a while for it to kick in because. When we were coming here, we were. She was definitely at her peak. She was kind of like, it was almost like a shiver or like a, almost like a, a, like a just, twitching. She was flat, like she didn't move. Yeah, and she wouldn't move, yeah, and she was like her heartbeat. I was like, oh my gosh, are you still breathing? A little bit like unresponsive, like lethargic, and she so, so high. it was a really, really scary drive, like really scary. She ate something on the trail. So you're someone's, like, someone's poo. Who knows what those people do? Yeah, and like then you're questioning. So like on the <laughs> test, it was like they tested her for opioids, they tested her for ev like cocaine, like all these drugs. That was really fast. Yeah. Yeah. Considering. Yeah, like, <clears throat> oh, I think we were like bawling our eyes out and they're just like grabbed her and we're like okay we'll take Izzy. Yeah. Like, we, were, we were just a mess. Just really really scary. And she was just like lying there. Breaks my heart. So sad. Yeah they say with marijuana like just to just like humans like let them just like ride out the high and within 24 to 72 hours she'll be fine. I'm literally shaking. It was like that was really scary. Well this is even scary. I hate that. Time to get a hotel in Vegas. Izzy wanted to let you all know that we just had two days of rest living it up in a hotel in Las Vegas. Just kidding. We just cuddled on the couch, but she's feeling much better. She was actually pretty much better, I'd say the next morning, afternoon. And we're super happy to be back in the van and that she's in good health. third state we're going into California today to the Mojave Preserve it's about an hour and a half drive and we're really looking forward to it because two days in a hotel was well low-key really really nice to relax but it's time to get back out there we just arrived here and within a few minutes it's gone from grasslands and bush 
to massive Joshua trees all the way across the horizon, everywhere you look. And they're getting taller and taller. And really fun fact, there's more Joshua trees in Mojave than there is in Joshua Tree. What? Surprise me. Crazy. We chose a good one. Bitch. They're seriously so cute. We're like 30 minutes from the dunes right now, and we can see them way out there, like kilometers and kilometers away. There's a massive sandbox waiting for us. I've never seen it doing that tall. Me either. <laughs> These are the Kelso Dunes. We had to come here and specifically for sunset. If you don't know, our friend Colin, who's behind the camera, is a passionate filmmaker and photographer and he's gonna take some sweet photos of us as the sun sets. Specs of bleed, foundations are shaking. But I'm so glad that I got you when the rain falls down. You pulled out the roof. So glad that I got you. No, I don't say it enough. Baby, it's the truth. I hope that I. Take you for granted. So, team, you ready to hike up the dune? Come on, Colin, get in this. Yeah, uh, the sun's going down. So. We need to start fire. But, like, look at that dune, guys. Look at that dune, you two. Okay, so yeah, the, the views here are extremely distorted. Like, that doesn't look very big on camera or even standing here, but it's 600 feet to the top. 600 feet. Yeah. It's basically a small mountain of sand. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is sick though. I think we should all come back here and climb this mountain. When Vlan's on the road. Vlan, 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 Vlan. Do you all know how Vlan got their name? No. Oh. Colin mispronounced Van. <laughs> this is my Vlan. <laughs> I've never seen anything like it, to be honest. Was but it? this is classic van life in the winter and you have like two hours of sunlight. <laughs> so true, eh? Yeah. One last gorgeous sunset. Want to have a dance? Are you asking me or Colin? Uh, you gotta dance. Uh, Get crazy. Uh, Get crazy. <laughs> Get crazy. You thought you were dancing? No! <laughs> Desert dance off? Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh yeah! What's that chicken butt? Reach the Bronx. Pork, pork rinds. <laughs> Kimchi. <laughs> Kimchi. <laughs> Get the tail. <laughs> So many lights. I think we're gonna need to put on our blue light glasses for this. Don't wanna mess up our skating rhythm. It's so bright. I much prefer the sand dunes. This is like absolutely insane. Shin Lim. I watched a couple things on YouTube. Do you watch YouTube? I love YouTube. Do you guys know the Van Wives? Uh, not sure if I've heard of them. Their Please content is sick. Don't know who that guy is. This <laughs> is just extra. So many people. 
Marie. <laughs> this is my kind of Vegas. Look at the stars. I think we should take some... Uh, night photography? I was hoping you'd say that. <laughs> I think we should take some night photography. Uh, this is the perfect <laughs> spot, like literally the perfect spot. And we're like, what, 30 minutes from the airport? <laughs> yeah, because guess what, everyone? All good things come to an end. <laughs> You're right. But we'll see you soon. <laughs> but it's been almost 10 days in the van. So. <laughs> <laughs> and Colin's a trooper living with two gals and two dogs, let me tell you. Yeah. On a sleeping pad. But what a perfect way to end the night. Yeah, I mean, what a perfect way to end the trip. <laughs> That happens so fast. What? The moon is rising over the mountain. It's massive. Wow. So cool. I thought it was on house lights, like on the mountain, and then it kept getting brighter and bigger. I was like, that's the moon. <laughs> One burning question. What do you think about van life? That's a big question. <laughs> you can choose your own adventure, really. Like, it could be as slow as you want, and it could be as fast as you want. I think if you're someone that feels most at peace in, in nature and in, in the quiet, and like to live life like a little bit slower than the hustle and bustle of modern day. Then yeah. I think this is that's what's so attractive to this. I get so caught up in the hustle, in the bustle, and trying to crush it, or what society says crush it. Yeah. And I'm kind of missing my life. And it makes me re like think about like what is actually important. Obviously, you need your meet basic needs met. For yeah. most of us, that looks like we got to work, but at what cost? <sighs> That's the question. I want to find that balance and be able to experience these things and make this balance. without, yeah, I like that without like compromising what you really want to see and do. I like that. Mm -hmm. You know, we're saying this and we are privileged to be able to have the opportunity and it's mm -hmm. different for everyone, but I have the opportunity. So I want to go for it, right? Yeah. Well, it's been a good time. It has, it has. A great time. Cheers to that. <laughs> Goodbye, Colino. So nice Thanks for coming. To be continued. Bye, YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for everything. Bye, Acorn. Peace and love. Lots of love. Back to being a co-pilot. <laughs> Back to sharing a seat with this one. Back to the four of us. Miss you, Colin. Yeah, it was super good. It's always nice to see familiar faces. It is good on the road. It's really important. Really refreshing, honestly. Lots Gets of good chats, lots of good memories. Makes me creative. Yeah. Where did they go? Re inspired. Yeah. All right, well. If you can't tell, I'm really excited because it's our first time picking up mail on the road from an Amazon pickup. So let's try it out. <laughs> Look at that. This is just so handy. And honestly, that is the coolest thing ever. It took no time at all to order it here, and I think there's about a hundred different pickup locations in Las Vegas. They're all over the place. And you literally just go to a box. This is just at a gas station. I mean, I'm sure a lot of people have experience with this, but for those of you who don't, this is a great way to get mail on the road. We've lost all trust in people. And you see, finding water in the States has been super easy. You just flick on iOverlander and there's so many little parks and water spigots everywhere. And it even tells you if it's fresh drinking water, which is a good thing to know. Water Phillips ain't so bad. You're always doing something fun, whether it's one wheeling, cooking lunch. Speaking of one wheeling. I have to say, 
quite a fan of water fill ups. It takes around 20 to 30 minutes to fill our tank, so why not have some fun? Come on, Izzy! Go get your mama! Let's go! This doesn't look too good. We were just stocking up for our next adventure and noticed this big puddle under the van. So we're trying to figure out where it's coming from, what's going on, because this is not good. Uh-oh, this is bad. Bad. That's a lot in one grocery shop. It's so true that everything happens for a reason. We have some lame errands to run, like fill up water, pick up mail, do the groceries. And I think all of that saved us from leaving Vegas and entering the desert and... There being no mechanics. There being no mechanics. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we're gonna go on a little test drive, see if we can diagnose the problem, and actually probably drive to an AutoZone or a Napa and get extra oil just in case. We always like to have it on hand anyways, and we actually don't have any right now, so... And it is a Sunday, so there's no mechanics open today, so... So we're going to do some checks. Now that the engine is cold, we're gonna check our coolant. The hard part about our van right now is that the entire left side of the engine is wet. So it's really hard to see where it's coming from. We're good. What's up there? That's an easy one. That's full. Go to work, my little mechanic. <laughs> Last is I'm taking off the engine's cover to check the injectors to make sure there's no black death, which is the other thing I really hope it's not. Moment of truth. I'm so nervous. So dramatic, can we get it off? <laughs> <laughs> that is what you want to see. It sounds like we're taking a giant estimation that it's the coolant. Giant estimation, yeah. <laughs> I guess we'll see. Let's roll with it. All right, show us your dirty hand. Not a bad place to stay for the night. Do you want to go gamble? Yep, right over there, Bear. Right at the casino. Do you even remember we're at a casino? You mean to say we're not at a fancy Asian restaurant? <laughs> <sighs> 7 a.m. sure does come early. We're off to enjoy the luxuries of Mercedes. <laughs> yep. Love that the girls have come in. That's a huge perk. Yeah, and it just shows you like the highs and low of van life. One minute we're literally in the desert in Nevada having a grand slow morning. With and then, friends. Yeah, and the next minute it was the scariest day of our life when Izzy I thought Izzy was dead. I literally thought she took her last breath on me and That's as we were fine. driving an hour and a bit to the vet. And then back to being with friends and beautiful. Another, beautiful views. <laughs> yeah, the Las Vegas Strip. And then to breaking down. This is like, this is life. Like this is van life specifically, like those highs and those lows. And this has just been such a week. And it, yeah, it definitely pulls on your emotions going up and down and it just takes a lot to process really. Yeah, that's a really good point, the up and down, like on your mental health, I think. We just hope that like this gives you a perspective of what van life is like and it's really unpredictable. But yeah, okay. We'll, we'll see you next week, Pat. See you in the next one.